What's going on, everybody? Welcome to The Loading Screen. I'm your host, Keith, with WCCF Tech TV, where we try to bring you big news in a small package. And today's big news is a little bit different than what you might expect. It's not a big acquisition. It's not a big leak. It's actually the first die shot of the Sony PlayStation 5. Let's get that loaded up, and we'll take a look at it. So the very first PS5 die shot was posted online by Twitter user Fritchen Fritz, who specializes in taking close-ups and including infrared shots of high-end chipsets. One thing that's abundantly clear from the PS5 die shot is how caches are separate, which means the PlayStation 5 features no Infinity Cache, despite speculations of the contrary. Now AMD introduced Infinity Cache on its RDNA 2 powered Radeon RX 6000 series GPUs. It's an all-new cache level of 128 megabytes whose purpose is to enable high bandwidth performance at low power and low latency, acting as a bandwidth multiplier as it were, delivering up to 3.25x the effective bandwidth of a 256-bit 16GB set of GDDR6 memory. Now the cache is seen by the graphics card as a whole, capturing temporal reuse and enabling near instantaneous access to data. Now just to go over the PlayStation 5 specs real quick, what you can see in that die shot there is 8 cores running at 3.5 GHz but now is it a variable re frequency rate on that and the GPU is a custom RDNA 2 which could explain the absence of the infinity cache there but it, it's rated at 10.28 teflops on 36 compute units running at a variable frequency upwards of 2.23 gigahertz now it does have hardware ray tracing support so those are in there with the RA the ray accelerators or RA cores with each of those 36 compute units you feature 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 on that 256-bit bus interface here at 448 gigabytes per second. Now, I am for one a fan of seeing these things. Does it tell me a whole lot about the, the way it works? Actually, it kind of does from time to time if you're somebody who studies these things. But for the average person, it's just technical jargon. But what do you think about die shots? Do you think they're really cool? You want to see this guy break down the Xbox Series X and even the Xbox Series S and would like to do a side-by-side -side comparison of those die shots. Let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe it, and we'll catch you guys on the next loading screen. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.